Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you for joining everybody. This is Evangelist Charles Kruger and you are watching Love Born live or the rerun. And we're going to pray. Yesterday, the Lord gave us Psalm 30 to 40. In the King James Version today, we're going to read it in the Passion Translation. So if you do not have the Passion Translation, try and keep up. But we're going to get your, get your Bibles ready. We're going to read the, the Psalms and we're going to pray Psalms 30 to 40 over the United States of America for such a time as this. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. And this is a day of God's justice and God's mercy coming together. Justice and mercy. Justice kiss, kisses mercy. Jackie Tron hospital bed. How did the op did you have the operation? What what what? How is it? How are you? Siva Raba Kote. Cabo Robo Zeba Bagade. Luisa Seymour, bless you. Renando Setalagado. Huyamora Ina. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over this broadcast, over myself. Father, I plead the blood. We apply and sprinkle the blood of Jesus over every comment, every person, every profile that's, rep that's on here, and everyone that's represented, every business and ministry. Lord, that's represented here, yeah, every, every household, every marriage, Lord, every family member, every relationship that re that's represented here yeah, on this. Father, bless, bless, bless the people, bless in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. We love you, Lord. We adore you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Glory, glory, glory. Good morning, Chantel. Good morning. Jackie, is it you have the mond operatie gehad? Or was it now the whole time? Was it? Who was it? Robertson, pray for Eddie being done after 12 oh you know okay peace in jesus name is going to be fine everything's going to be fine in jesus name jackie the lord is with you he's holding your hand he's going to guide the hand of the surgeon in jesus name that everything will go smoothly in jesus name thank you father for the medical profession the lord is the one who heals i am the lord that healeth thee and he uses many 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 ways to bring healing amen even doctors so praise the lord for that Melissa, bless you. Johnny, Marissa, Peterson, bless you. I'm 12 here and amen. All right. Chantel, Jenny, hallelujah. Graba, Zoko, Telebega, Dalolombo, Centro. Thank you, Jesus. Well, yesterday the Lord gave us Psalm 30 to 40 and we're going to read it again. And then probably next week we're going to go into Q&A, questions and answers. Gives you a time to... Um, post your questions if you have any questions and we'll see how the Holy Spirit answers Amen, so we're going to have a prophetic question and answer time and uh, I believe that the Lord will answer all our questions, Amen any question, whatever question there is He will answer it in Jesus name and so there is a, I'll send out the WhatsApp, if you're not on my broadcast WhatsApp list, please send me a WhatsApp on the number on my number that's on the Facebook page and uh, I'll be sure to put you on the broadcast list and uh, we'll, we'll be getting a lot of questions and I trust the Lord that we're going to give answers as well next week we're going to concentrate on that I'm, I'm changing I can feel a change I'm getting healed amen thank you thank you everybody for joining this morning what a precious morning what a anointed time we had this morning what yo it was glorious, glorious, glorious. So please, guys, get your communion elements ready. I've got some anointing oil here. And uh, I've got my orange juice ready. And, um, ach, bless you, Veronica West. Wow, love you, brother. Amen, man. I love you too, sister. Bless you, Veronica. The Lord said to me over the United States, Psalm 30 to Psalm 40. Praying Psalm 30 to Psalm 40 over the United States. Glory. There's, there is such an anointing. You know what an anointing this morning? Wow. Wow. We just prayed. And even last night, the word that the Lord gave from his heart, it was like God revealed his heart. What a precious, precious time we had last night. But now we're in here. And now I've got the Passion Translation. Yesterday we read Psalm 30 to 40 in the King James Version. Now, now we're going to read it in the Passion, if I can find it. So you guys, if you have your Passion Translation already, 
Please, this is the practice of the presence of the Lord. I don't want to sit and read the word. Get any translation and follow with me as we pray the scriptures today. We won't be longer than an hour, probably an hour. And uh, we're going to pray concerning the United States. Because God has something that he's bringing. He says today that justice and mercy is kissing. Not just justice. Justice and mercy. Justice and mercy is coming together. Amen. So let's find Psalm 30. Father, we thank you that your word will be alive. Holy Spirit, you are the one who inspired these scriptures, Lord. You are the one who spoke them. And help us now, Lord. Even if we read it in the Passion Translation today. Lord, the things are going to start opening up for us, Lord. And we will see a radical intervention of the Almighty God in the elections in the United States of America. Allenson, September morning was praying. Okay, amen. Jenny, yes, justice and mercy are kissing. Veronica, it's time, it's time, it's time. The Lord is bringing you a new wave of revelation knowledge in the prophetic Prophetic teaching is coming to you, not just prophecies, but prophetic teachings that as the people are listening and reading your prophetic words, the revelation behind it, the word will break open and it will change their lives forever. The word is going to come, come, it's going to come forth through the prophetic words that there's a, a prophetic teaching anointing on you. You're going to see it. You're going to see it. And it's going to flow out of you. You're not even going to try. It's something that is just going to spontaneously flow. And I think it's already flowing. I just, just, I just see more of that. Amen. Bless you, Veronica. Glory, guys. Hallelujah. Louisa Seymour. All right, guys. I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to jump into it. Father, we thank you for the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we come under the unction of the Holy Spirit, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. The revival times are here. Lord, that your purposes will prosper and the best is yet to come. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, let Psalm 30 to 40, Lord, right now, Lord, let it reach your throne, Father, as we pray in faith and agreement in this corporate anointing, as we come together in an anointing, Father, and, and in agreement and in a spirit of unity, Lord, touching and agreeing concerning Psalm 30 to 40 over the United States of America Father, Lord we make our petitions known, we come boldly by the blood of Jesus into the throne room of grace we ask for mercy and grace for the times of trouble, Lord as we make our petitions known with thanksgiving we thank you that we have your ear and that things are going to start falling into place in Jesus mighty name Lord thank you, Amen and Amen Glory Psalm 30 in the Passion Translation, if you, hey Tony, oh yes, no you, I remember you said the Passion Translation and this, well, I was going to do questions and answers, but then the Lord said, no, I want you to do it again. I've got my, my anointed orange juice here and we're going to, we're going to get through it. That's a lot of reading, but these Psalms are so precious to me. This is some, these are some of the Psalms that has changed my life. And I hold on to it and it's an anchor to me. And I just feel, felt so strongly while we were reading it yesterday. The Lord said that this is what we're going to pray. And so as we're reading this and we practice the present presence of the Holy Spirit. As we're reading it, let it be a prayer on behalf of the nation of the United States of America. Hallelujah. And we're going to see what God is going to say. Amen. This is going to be good. So stay tuned. Psalm 30 verse 1. Holy Spirit, thank you. Bless this word, Lord. Make it alive. Lord, I will exalt you and lift you high. For you have lifted me up on high. Over all my boasting, gloating enemies. You made me to triumph. Wow. Oh Lord, my healing God. I cried out for a miracle and you healed me. You brought me back from the brink of death, from the depths below. Shendo, Rabaki, Sedelekito. Now here I am, alive and well, fully restored. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, for the United States. Oh, sing and make melody, you steadfast lovers of God. Give thanks to Him every time you reflect on His holiness. I've learned that this. That his anger lasts for a moment. But his loving favor lasts a lifetime. We may weep through the night. But at daybreak, 
it will turn into shouts of ecstatic joy. Lord, we pray this over the United States. I remember boasting, I've got it made. Nothing can stop me now. I'm God's favored one. He's made me steady as a mountain. But then suddenly you hid your face from me. I was panic stricken and became depressed. <laughs> Still I cried to you, O Lord God. I shouted out for mercy, saying, What would you gain in my death? If I were to go down to the depths of darkness, will a grave sing your song? How could death thus declare your faithfulness? So hear me now, O Lord, show me your famous mercy. O God, be my savior and rescue me. God's bringing vindication. Harda bose keta baro bose talamando. Verse 11. Then he broke through and transformed all my wailing into a whirling dance of ecstatic praise. He has torn the veil and lifted from me the sad heaviness of mourning. He wrapped me in the glory garments of gladness. How could I be silent when it's time to praise you? Now my heart sings out loud, bursting with joy, a bliss inside that keeps me singing. I can never thank you enough. Lord, thank you. This is a prophetic word. Ralda Bogujekite, Psalm 31 from verse 1. I trust you, Lord. This is the Passion Translation. I trust you, Lord, to be my hiding place. The Lord is saying that um, these people that's been taking advantage of you as a Christian. <laughs> but they've been taking advantage of you as a Christian, as a believer. But they have they have overplayed the hand or what what do you they've they've gone they've taken it too far the lord is about to draw a new boundary in your life boundaries are going to be set in place and they're not going to get away with abusing you and using you that spirit of intimidation and manipulation that has held you captive that has made you and forced you to do some things that you didn't have peace about and you knew this wasn't god's will and this wasn't right but you thought, well, but God is saying justice is coming and mercy. It's, it's the mixture. Justice is coming and he's bringing new boundaries into your life and he will do it. His hand will do it. If you can't do it, he'll stand up because he's your father and he will now protect you. He's not abandoned you. He's not absent. He's not passive. He's not far away. He didn't abandon or forsake you or leave you or forgotten about you. He is fighting for you. And the heathen and the, and the sinners and the wicked will say, well, God isn't doing anything. He's not, he's not fighting for them. Let's take them. Let's, let's walk all over them. And this is a word for the United States as well. Father, in the name of Jesus and even South Africa. Father, I thank you. Lord, that you draw the boundaries, that you rearrange the boundaries in Jesus' name, Father. That you step in now as our father and you protect and you fight for you are the father of the fatherless, the husband to the widow and the defender of the weak. I thank you, Father, it's done in Jesus' name. Let it be unto us according to your word, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Psalm 31 verse 1. I trust you, Lord, to be my hiding place. Don't let me down. Don't let my enemies bring me to shame. Come and rescue me, for you are the only God you always, who always does what is right. Rescue me quickly when I cry out to you. It'll be quick. At the sound of my prayer, may your ear be turned to me. Be my strong shelter and hiding place on high. Pull me into victory and breakthrough. Victory and breakthrough. Sabra Gasa, for you are my high fortress. Where I'm kept safe. Hallelujah, man. You are to me a stronghold of salvation. When you deliver me out of this peril 
It will bring glory to your name. Remember, this is a prayer on behalf of the United States. It's like the whole country, the nation is praying this. We are interceding. We are praying. We are mediating. We are standing in the gap. We are on behalf of the nation. This is the prayer. This is the Psalms. This is, it's written here and it's reaching the throne of heaven. Listen, listen, listen. Don't go, Jaka. Verse 3. You are my high fortress where I'm kept safe. You are to me a stronghold of salvation. When you deliver me out of this peril, it will bring glory to your name. As you guide me forth, I'll be kept safe from the hidden snares of the enemy, the secret traps that lie before me. For you have become my rock of strength. Into your hands I now entrust my spirit. O Lord, the God of faithfulness, you have rescued and redeemed me. I despise these deceptive illusions, all this pretense and nonsense, for I worship you only, only you. In mercy, you have seen my troubles and you have cared for me. Even during this crisis in my soul, I will be radiant with joy, filled with praise for your love and mercy. You have kept me from being conquered by my enemy. Yes, this is such, this is like spot on. You broke open the way to bring me to freedom. Into a beautiful, broad place. Oh Lord, help me again. Keep showing me such mercy. For I am in anguish, always in tears. And I'm worn out with weeping. I'm becoming old because of grief. My health is broken. I'm exhausted. My life is spent with sorrow. My years with sighing and sadness. Because of all these troubles, I have no more strength. My inner being is so weak and frail. My enemies say, you are nothing. Even my friends and neighbors hold me in contempt. They dread seeing me. They look the other way when I pass by. I'm totally forgotten, buried away like a dead man, discarded like a broken dish thrown in the trash. I, I overheard their whispered threats, the slander of my enemies. I'm terrified as they plot and scheme to take my life. I'm desperate, Lord. I throw myself upon you, for you alone are my God. My life, my every moment, my destiny, it's all in your hands. So I know you can deliver me from those who persecute me relentlessly. Let your shining face shine on me. Let your undying love and glorious grace save me from all this gloom. As I call upon you, let my shame and disgrace be replaced by your favor once again. What a spot on word. Thank you, Jesus. But let shame and disgrace fall instead upon the wicked. Those going to their own doom, drifting down in silence to the dust of death. At last their lying lips will be muted in their graves. For they are arrogant, filled with contempt and conceit as they speak against the godly. Lord, how wonderful you are. You have stored up so many good things for us. Like a treasure chest heaped up and spilling over with blessings. All for those who honor and worship you. Everybody knows what you can do for those who turn and hide themselves in you. So hide all your beloved ones in the sheltered secret place before your face. Overshadow them by your glory presence. Keep them from these accusations, the brutal insults of evil men. Tuck them safely away in the tabernacle where you dwell. The name of the Lord is blessed and lifted high for his marvelous miracle of mercy protected me. When I was overwhelmed by my enemies, I spoke hastily when I said, the Lord has deserted me. America, you have spoken hastily when you said, the Lord has deserted me. For in truth, you did hear my prayer and came to my rescue and came to rescue me. That's the truth. Listen to me, all you godly ones. Love the Lord with passion. The Lord protects and preserves all those who are loyal to Him. 
but he pays back in full all those who reject him in their pride. So cheer up. Take courage, all you who love him. Wait for him to break through for you, all who trust in him. Come on, Raga Zekete. This is, verse, this is now chapter 32. All you who trust for him, wait for him to break through for you. Wait for him to break through. Psalm 32. Verse 1, how happy and fulfilled are those whose rebellion has been forgiven. Those whose sins are covered by the blood. How blessed and relieved are those who have confessed their corruption to God. For He wipes their slates clean <laughs> and removes hypocrisy from their hearts. Before I confessed my sins, I kept it all inside. My dishonesty devastated my inner life, causing my life to be filled with frustration, irrepressible anguish and misery. The pain never let up, for your hand of conviction was heavy on my heart. My strength was sapped, my inner life dried up like a spiritual drought within my soul. Then I finally admitted to all my sins. Refusing to hide them any longer, I said, my life-giving God, I will openly acknowledge my evil actions. And you forgave me. All at once, the guilt of my sin washed away and all my pain disappeared. Disappeared all at once. This is what I've learned. This is verse 6. This is what I've learned through it all. All believers should confess their sins to God. Do it every time God has uncovered you in the time of exposing. For if you do this, when sudden storms of life overwhelm, you'll be kept safe. Lord, you are my secret hiding place, protecting me from these troubles, surrounding me with songs of gladness. Your joyous shouts of rescue release my breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 8, I hear the Lord saying, I will stay close to you instructing and guiding you along the pathway for your life. I will advise you along the way and lead you forth with mine eyes as your guide. Thank you, Lord. So don't make it difficult. Don't be stubborn when I take you when you've been where you've not been before. Don't make me tug you and pull you along. Just come with me. So my conclusion is this. Many are the sorrows and frustrations of those who don't come clean with God. But when you trust in the Lord for forgiveness, His wraparound love will surround you. Oh Lord, how true. 11. So celebrate the goodness of God. He shows this kindness to everyone who is His. Go ahead. Shout for joy. All you upright ones who want to please Him. Praise the Lord. Psalm 33. It's time to sing and shout for joy. America, listen. It's time to sing and shout for joy. Go ahead, all you redeemed ones. Do it. Praise Him with all you have. For praise looks lovely on the lips of God's lovers. Play the guitar as you lift your praises loaded with thanksgiving. Sing and make joyous music with all you've got inside. Compose new melodies that release new praises to the Lord. Play His praises on instruments with the anointing and skill He gives you. Sing and shout with passion. Make a spectacular sound of joy. Prophetic music, new songs of the Spirit being released right now in the United States in Jesus' name. Coming forth from the United States. New songs, new songs, beautiful songs of prophetic declarations which will carry the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Verse 4, For God's word is something to sing about. He is true to His promises. His word can be trusted. This is Psalm 33 verse 4. His word can be trusted and everything He does is reliable and right. You can trust what God says. If you are just joining us, get your Bible ready. We are reading Psalm 30 to 40 today. And we're praying these scriptures over the United States of America. The Lord loves seeing justice on the earth. Anywhere and everywhere you can find His faithful, unfailing love. 
All he had to do was speak by his spirit wind command. And God created the heavenlies, filled with galaxies and stars, the vast cosmos he wonderfully made. His voice scooped out the seas, the ocean depths he poured into vast reservoirs. Now with breathtaking wonder, let everyone worship Yahweh, this awe-inspiring creator. Words he breathed and words were birthed. Let there be, and there it was, springing forth the moment he spoke, no sooner said than done. Wow, that's awesome. With his breath, he scatters the schemes of nations who oppose him. They will never succeed. This is the word of the Lord. This is what he said. The nations plot against him, but they will never succeed. His destiny plan for the earth stands sure. His forever plan remains in place and will never fail. Blessed and prosperous is the nation who has God as their Lord. They will be the people he has chosen for his own. The Lord looks over us from where he rules in heaven, gazing into every heart from his lofty dwelling place. He rules from heaven. He observes all the people of the earth. The creator of our hearts considers and examines everything we do. Even if a king has the best equipped army, it would never be enough to save him. Even if the best warrior went to battle, he could not be saved simply by his strength alone. Human strength and the weapons of man are false hopes for victory. Hmm. Yo, false hopes for victory. They may seem mighty, but they will always disappoint. The eyes of the Lord are upon even the weakest worshippers who love him. Sure. Those who wait in hope and expectation for the strong, steady love of God. We prophesy a revival of love in the United States of America. God will deliver them from death. Even the certain death of famine with no one to help. The Lord alone is our radiant hope and we trust in Him with all our hearts. Give the battle to Him. He will fight the battle because the battle belongs to the Lord. Having done all to stand, stand therefore, stand. He, his wraparound presence will strengthen us. As we trust, we rejoice with an uncontained joy flowing from Yahweh. Let your love and steadfast kindness overshadow us continually, for we trust and we wait upon you. My Lord, thank you. Let your love and steadfast kindness overshadow us continually, for we trust and we wait upon you. We're praying this on behalf of the United States of America. Psalm 34 from verse 1. Let's read it together in the Passion Translation. Get your Bibles ready. Lord, I'm bursting with joy over what you've done for me. Listen, this is prophetic. My lips are full of perpetual praise. Psalm 34 will be, will be preached in the United States not long from now. They'll be singing songs about Psalm 34. I'm boasting of you and all your works. So let all who are discouraged take heart. <coughs> Join me, everyone. <coughs> let pr let's praise the Lord together. Let's make him famous. Let's make his name glorious to all. Listen to my testimony. I cried to God in my distress and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Gaze upon him. Join your life with his and joy will come. Your faces will glisten with glory. You'll never wear that shame face again. Donald Trump, you'll never wear that shame face again. Verse 6, when I hurt, when I had hurt, when I had nothing, desperate and defeated, I cried out to the Lord and he heard me, bringing his miracle deliverance when I needed it most. <laughs> the angel of the Lord stooped down to listen as I prayed, encircling me, empowering me and showing me how to escape. He will do this for everyone who fears God. Drink deeply of the pleasures of this God. Experience for yourself the joyous mercies He gives to all who mourn, 
to all who turn to hide themselves in him. Worship in awe and wonder, all you who've been made holy. For all you, for all who fear him will feast with plenty. Even the strong and the wealthy grow weak and hungry, but those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. Come, children of God, and listen to me. I'll share the lesson I've learned of fearing the Lord. Do you want to live a long, good life, enjoying the beauty that fills each day? Then never speak a lie or allow wicked words to come from your mouth. Keep turning your back on every sin and make peace your life motto. Practice being at peace with everyone. Mercy. Mercy. Some people just cry for justice. But remember, mercy triumphs over judgment. And justice and mercy must kiss. Remember, be the peacemaker and you will inherit. United States, be the peacemaker. Blessed are the peacemakers. They will see God. Amen. And the meek shall inherit the earth. They shall inherit the land. Be the peacemakers. The Lord sees all we do. He watches over His friends day and night. His godly ones receive the answers they seek. Wherever they cry, whenever they cry out to Him. But the Lord has made up His mind to oppose evildoers. That's, that's what He says here. Psalm 34, 16. The Lord has made up His mind to oppose evildoers and to wipe out even the memory of them from the face of the earth. Yet when holy lovers of God cry out to Him with all their hearts, the Lord will hear them and come to their rescue and rescue them from all their troubles. The Lord is close. The Lord is close. Oh, Verse 18. The Lord is close to all whose hearts are crushed by pain. I have to put this off. Sorry. The Lord is close to all whose hearts are crushed by pain. And He is always ready to restore the repentant one. Even when bad things happen to the good and godly ones, the Lord will save them and not let them be defeated by what they face. God will be your bodyguard to protect you when trouble is near. Not one bone will be broken. But the wicked commit slow suicide. <laughs> <coughs> For they hate and persecute the lovers of God. Make no mistake about it. God will hold them guilty and punish them. They will pay the penalty. But the Lord has paid for the freedom of his servants and he will freely pardon those who love him. He will declare them free and innocent when they turn to hide themselves in him. America, God will declare you free. Shagadu Robose Keta Bagade. Psalm 35. Rescue me, yeah. Psalm 35. Let's go from verse 1. Part 1, David, a warrior. David, a witness. Okay. O Lord, fight for me. Harass the hecklers. Accuse my accusers. Fight those who fight against me. Put on your armor, Lord. Take up your shield and protect me. Rise up, mighty God. Grab your weapons of war and block the way of the wicked who come to fight me. Stand for me when they stand against me. Jesus, speak over my soul. I am your strong savior. Come on. Humiliate those who seek my arm. Defeat them all. Frustrate their plans to defeat me and drive them back. Disgrace them all as they have devised their plans to disgrace me. Blow them away like dust in the wind with the angel of almighty God driving them back. Make the road in front of them nothing but slippery darkness with the angel of the Lord behind them, chasing them away. For though I did nothing wrong to them, they set a trap for me, wanting me to fall and fail. Surprise them with your ambush, Lord, and catch them. Give your curveballs, Lord, the November month of curveballs. 
and catch them in the very trap they set for me. Let them be the ones to fail and fall into destruction. Then my fears will dissolve into limitless joy. My whole being will overflow with gladness. Because of your mighty deliverance, everything inside of me will shout it out. There is no one like you, Lord. For look at how you protect the weak and helpless from the strong and heartless who oppress them. They are malicious men, hostile witnesses of wrong. They rise up against me, accusers appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> when I show them mercy, they bring me misery. I am forsaken and forlorn like a motherless child. Oh Lord. I even prayed over them when they were sick. I was burdened and bowed low with fasting and interceded for their healing. And I didn't stop praying. I grieved for them, heavy hearted, as though they were my dearest family members or my good friends who were sick, nearing death, needing prayer. But when I was the one who tripped up and stumbled, they came together to slander me, rejoicing in my time of trouble, tearing me to shreds with their evil, with their lies and betrayal. Verse 16 These nameless ruffians mocking me. Like godless fools at a feast, how they delight in throwing mud on my name. God, how long can you just stand there and do nothing? <laughs> now is the time to act. Rescue me from these brutal men, for I am being torn to shreds by these beasts who are out to get me. Save me from their rage, their cruel grasp. Verse 18. Then I will praise you wherever I go. Shal devaze bekitarabato. Amen. And when everyone gathers for worship, I will lift up your praise with a shout in front of the largest crowd I can find. Come on, that's evangelism. <laughs> 19. Don't let those who fight me for no reason be victorious. Don't let those who fight me for no reason be victorious. Don't let them succeed, these heartless haters who come against me with their gloating sneers. America, Psalm 35, this is heavy. They are the ones who would never seek peace as friends, for they are ever devising deceit against the innocent ones who mind their own business. They open their mouths with ugly grins, gloating with glee over my every fault. Look, they say, we caught him red-handed. We saw him fall with our own eyes. <laughs> but my caring God, you have been there all along. You have seen their hypocrisy. God, don't let them get away with this. Don't walk away without doing something. Now is the time to awake. Rise up, Lord. Vindicate me, my Lord and my God. Vindicate me, my Lord and my God. Vindicate the United States, O Lord our God. My Lord and my God, you have every right to judge me, Lord, according to your righteousness. But don't let them rejoice over me when I stumble. Let them all be ashamed of themselves, humiliated when they rejoice over my every blunder. Shame them, Lord, when they say, we saw what he did. Now we have him right where we want him. Let's get him while he's down. Make them look ridiculous when they exalt themselves over me. May they all be disgraced and dishonored. But let all my true friends shout for joy. All those who know and love what I do for you. Let them all say, the Lord is great. All those who mourn for you. And he delights in the prosperity of his servant. Then I won't be able to hold it in. Everyone will hear my joyous praises all day long. Your righteousness will be the theme of my glory song praise. Amen. Song of Praise. Psalm 36. The rebellion of sin speaks as an oracle of God. Do you have your Bibles with? Let's read. In the Passion Translation, we're reading. We've got five more chapters to go. We're reading from Psalm 36 in the Passion Translation from verse 1 together. The rebellion of sin speaks as an oracle of God, speaking deeply to the conscience of wicked men, yet they are still eager to sin. For the fear of God is not before their eyes. 
See how they flatter themselves, unable to detect and detest their sins. They are crooked and conceited, convinced they can get away with anything. Their wicked words are nothing but lies. Wisdom is far from them. Goodness is both forgotten and forsaken. They lie awake at night to hatch their evil plots. <laughs> always planning their schemes of darkness, and never once do they consider the evil of their ways. But you, O Lord, your mercy seat love is limitless. Reaching higher than the highest heavens, your great faithfulness is infinite. Stretching over the whole earth, your righteousness is unmovable just like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are as full of wisdom as the ocean are full of water. Your tender care and Kindness leave no one forgotten, not a man, not even a mouse. <laughs> oh God, verse 7, how extravagant is your cherishing love. All mankind can find a hiding place under the shadow of your wings. All may drink of the anointing from the abundance of your house. All may drink their fill from the delightful springs of Eden. To know the springs, there is a river whose, sit, whose, whose stream, a city whose rivers, uh, the stream, <laughs> there is a river whose streams may glad the city of our God. Praise the Lord. Amen. All may drink their fill from the delightful springs of Eden. And our fountains are in you, Lord. Verse 9. To know you is to experience a flowing fountain, drinking in your life, springing up to satisfy. Tongues, man, tongues. In the light of your holiness, we receive the light of revelation. In the light of your holiness, the comfort of holiness, we receive the light of revelation. Lord, keep pouring out your unfailing love on those who are near you. Release more of your blessings to those who are loyal to you. Don't let these proud boasters trample me down. Remember, we are praying now for the United States of America. We're reading, this is the word of the Lord, Psalm 30 to Psalm 40, to pray and this is basically the intercession cry of the Spirit over the United States of America. Listen, so we are praying in intercession. Don't let these proud boasters trample me down. Don't let them push me around by the sheer strength of their wickedness. They, there they lie in the dirt, these evil ones, thrown down to the ground, never to rise again. Psalm 37, listen, this is it, this is it. Don't follow after the wicked ones or be jealous of their wealth. Don't think for a moment they're better off than you. They in their short-lived success will soon shrivel up and quickly fade away like grass clippings in the hot sun. Keep trusting in the Lord and do what is right in His eyes. Fix your heart on the promises of God and you will be secure. Feasting on his faithfulness. Make God the utmost delight and pleasure of your life. And he will provide for you what you desire the most. Give God the right to direct your life. And as you trust him along the way, you'll find he pulled it off perfectly. He will appear as your righteousness. As sure as the dawning of a new day. Hmm. A dawning of a new day. He will manifest as your justice. There is it. Justice and mercy. The Lord will vindicate you. He will manifest as your justice. As sure and strong as the noonday sun. Quiet your heart in his presence and pray. Keep hope alive as you long for God to come through for you, United States. And don't think for a moment that the wicked in their prosperity are better off than you. Stay away from anger and revenge. Keep envy far from you, for it only leads you into lies. For one day the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will live safe and sound with blessings overflowing. Just a little while longer and the ungodly will vanish. You will look for them in vain, but the humble of heart will inherit every promise and enjoy abundant peace. Let the wicked keep plotting against the godly with all their sneers and arrogant jeers. 
God doesn't lose any sleep over them, and he knows their day is coming. Evil ones take aim on the poor and helpless. They are ready to slaughter those who do right. <laughs> but the Lord will turn all their weapons of wickedness back on themselves, piercing their pride-filled hearts until they are helpless. It is much better to have little combined with much of God than to have the fabulous wealth of the wicked and nothing else. <coughs> All their money will not help them. For the, verse 17, verse, chapter 37, verse 17, Psalms, Passion Translation. For the Lord takes care of all his forgiven ones, while the strength of the evil will surely slip away. Day by day, the Lord watches the good deeds of the godly. And he prepares for them his forever reward. Even in a time of disaster, he will watch over them. And they will always have more than enough, no matter what happens. All the enemies of God will perish. For the wicked have only a momentary value, a fading glory. Then one day they vanish, here today, gone tomorrow. They break their promises, borrowing money, but never paying it back. They are so indebted. They are slaves to whoever gave them the money. The lender is borrow servant the the borrower is servant to the lender. Never paying it back. The good man returns what he owes with some extra besides. <laughs> the good man returns what he owes with some extra besides. The Lord's blessed ones receive it all in the end. The Lord's blessed ones receive it all in the end, but the cursed ones will be cut off with nothing to show for themselves. The steps of the God pursuing ones who firmly uh, follow firmly in the footsteps of the Lord and God delights in every step they take to follow him. If they stumble badly, they will still survive for the Lord lifts them up with his hands. I was young once, but now I'm old. Now, not once, have I found a lover of God forsaken by him, nor have any of their children gone hungry. Instead, I found that the godly ones, I found the godly ones to be the generous ones who give freely to others. Their children are blessed and become a blessing. If you truly want to dwell forever in God's presence, forsake evil and do what is right in his eyes. The Lord loves it when he sees us walking in his justice. He will never desert justice. Justice! The, the Lord, funny, oh bless you Jesus. The Lord loves it when he sees us walking in his justice. And mercy, hallelujah. He will never desert his devoted lovers. They will be kept forever in his faithful care. But the descendants of the wicked will be banished. The faithful lovers of God will inherit the earth. This is the word of the Lord to you, United States of America, you remnant of the Most High God, you children of God, you saints of the Almighty. The faithful lovers of God will inherit the earth and enjoy every promise of God's care dwelling in peace forever. God lovers make the best counselors. Their words possess wisdom and are right and trustworthy. The ways of God, verse 31, the ways of God are in their hearts and they won't swerve from the paths of steadfast righteousness. Evil ones spy on the godly ones, stalking them. Sound familiar? Evil ones spy on the godly ones. Stalking them to find something they could use to accuse them. <laughs> They're out for the kill. But God with, will foil all their plots. The godly will not stand condemned when brought to trial. The godly will not stand condemned when brought to trial. So he who has an ear to hear, let him hear. So don't be impatient for the Lord to act. Keep moving forward steadily in his ways. He will exalt you at the right time. 
And when it does, you will possess every promise, including your full inheritance. You'll watch with your own eyes and see the wicked lose everything. I've already seen this happen. Once I saw a wicked and violent man overpower all who ar were around him. A domineering tyrant with his pride and oppressive ways. Then he died and was forgotten. Now no one cares that he is gone forever. But you can tell who are the blameless and spiritually mature. What a different story with them. The godly ones will have a peaceful, prosperous future with a happy ending. Every evil sinner will be destroyed, obliterated. They'll be utter failures with no future. But the Lord will be the savior of all who love him. Even in their time of trouble, God will live in them as strength because of their faith in him. Their daily portion will be a father's help and deliverance from evil. This is true for all who turn to hide themselves in him. The, chapter 38, Psalm 38. A groan before the throne. That's the Passion Translation heading here. A groan before the throne. Oh Lord, don't push me angrily, for don't punish me angrily for what I've done. This is the psalm of repentance for the United States of America. <clears throat> oh Lord, don't punish me angrily for what I've done. Don't let my sin inflame your wrath against me. For the arrows of your conviction have pierced me deeply. Your blows have struck my soul and crushed me. Now my body is sick. My health is totally broken because of your anger. And it's all due to my sins. I'm overwhelmed, swamped and submerged beneath the heavy burden of my guilt. It clings to me and won't let me go. My rotting wounds are a witness against me. They are severe and getting worse, reminding me of my failure and folly. I am completely broken because of what I've done. Gloom is all around me. My sins have bent me over to the ground. My inner being is shriveled up. My self-confidence is crushed. Sick with fever, I am left exhausted. Now I am cold as a corpse and nothing is left inside of me but great groaning filled with anguish. Groaning. Lord, you know all my desires and deepest longings. My tears are liquid words and you can read them all. My heart beats wildly. My strength is sapped. And the light of my eyes is going out. My friends stay far away from me, avoiding me like the plague. Even my family wants nothing to do with me. Meanwhile, my enemies are out to kill me, plotting my ruin, speaking of my doom, as they spend every waking moment planning how to finish me off. I'm like a deaf man who, have, who no longer hears I can't even speak up and words fail me. I have no argument to counter their threats. Lord, the only thing I can do is wait and put my hope in you. I wait for your help, my God. So hear my cry and put an end to this, this struggle, this strutting in pride. Who gloat when I stumble in pain. Oh, the enemies, the enemies, the enemies of the United States all over the world. The enemies, they gloat when you stumble in pain. Here he says, I'm slipping away on the verge of a breakdown with nothing but sorrow and sighing. I confess all my sin to you. I can't hold it any longer. My agonizing thoughts punish me for my wrongdoing. My agonizing thoughts punish me for my wrongdoing. I feel condemned as I consider all I've done. My enemies are many. They hate me and persecute me. Though I've done nothing against them to deserve it. I show goodness to them and get repaid evil in return. And they hate me even more when I stand for what is right. <laughs> so don't forsake me now, Lord. United States... Is crying out, don't forsake me now, Lord. We're crying out, Father, on behalf of the United States. Don't forsake her now, Lord. 
Don't leave her in this condition. God, hurry to help her. Run to her rescue, for you are her Savior and her only hope. Amen. Psalm 39, a cry for help. Here's my life motto, the truth I live by. I will guard my ways for all my days. I will speak only what is right, guarding what I speak. This is what you will say, United States of America. Like a watchman guards against an attack of the enemy, I'll guard and muzzle my mouth when the wicked are around me. I will remain silent and will not grumble or speak out of my disappointment. But the longer I'm silent, the more my pain grows worse. My heart burned with a fire within me and my thoughts eventually boiled over until they finally came rolling out of my mouth. Lord, help me to know how fleeting my time on earth is. Help me to know how limited my life and that I'm only here for but a moment more. What a brief time you've given me to live. Compared to you, my lifetime is nothing at all. Nothing more than a puff of air. I'm gone so swiftly. So too are the grandest of men. They are nothing but a fleeting shadow. Verse 6. We live our lives like those living in shadows. All our activities and energies are spent for things that pass away. We gather, we hoard, we cling to our things only to leave them all behind for who knows who. And now, God, I am left with one conclusion. My only hope is to hope in you alone. Save me from being overpowered by my sin. Don't make me a disgrace before the degenerate. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord, I'm left speechless. I have no excuse, so I'll not complain any longer. Now I know you're the one who is behind it all. But I can't take it much longer. Spare me these blows of your discipline rod. For if you are against me, I will waste away to nothing. No one endures when you rebuke and discipline us for our sins. Like a cobweb is swept away with a wave of the hand. You sweep away all that we once called dear. How fleeting and frail our lives. We nothing more than a puff of air. Lord, listen to all my tender cries. Hear my every tear or read my every tear like liquid words that plead for your help. I feel all alone at times like a stranger to you passing through this life just like all before me. All those before me. Verse 13. Don't let me die without restoring joy and gladness to my soul. May your frown over my failure become a smile over my success. In Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 40. I waited and waited and waited some more patiently knowing God would come through for me knowing that God would come through for me then at last he bent down and listened to my cry he stooped down to lift me out of danger from the desolate pit I was in out of the muddy mess I had fallen into I can feel the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Oh, the anointing of God is on this word. Thou he's lifted me up into a firm, secure place and steadied me while I walk along his ascending path. A new song for a new day rises up in me. Every time I think about how he breaks through for me. Ecstatic praise pours out of my mouth until everyone hears how God has set me free. Many will see his miracles. They'll stand in awe of God and fall in love with him. Father, Father, intervene. Do Rabba Shekete on behalf of the United States. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the victory. Verse 4, blessing after blessing comes to those who love and trust the Lord. They will not fall away, for they refuse to listen to the lies of the proud. Our Lord, our God, no one compares with you. No one can compare with you. Such wonderful works and miracles are all found with you. And you think of us all the time with your countless expressions of love, far exceeding our expectations. 
It's not sacrifices that really move your heart. Burnt offerings, sin offerings, that's not what brings you joy. But when you open my ears and speak deeply to me, I become your willing servant, your prisoner of love for life. So I said, here I am. I'm coming to you as a sacrifice. For in the prophetic scrolls of your book, you have written about me. <laughs> America. He said, in, in the prophetic scrolls of your book, you have written about me. Okay, this is now regards to America. Prophetically. Sharabako, in your prophetic scrolls of your book, you have written about me. Here it is. I delight to fulfill your will, my God, for your living words are written upon the pages of my heart and your constitution. <laughs> I tell everyone everywhere the truth of your righteousness. How many missionaries and evangelists and men of God has the United States of America sent and sown across the nations of the world? Your harvest is coming. It says here verse 9, I tell everyone everywhere of the truth of your righteousness. And you know I haven't held back in telling the message to all. I don't keep it a secret or hide the truth. I preach of your faithfulness and kindness. Proclaiming your extravagant love to the largest crowd I can find. So Lord, don't hold back your love or withhold your tender mercies from me. Keep me in your truth and let your compassion overflow to me no matter what I face. Evil surrounds me. Problems greater than I can solve come one after another. Without you, I know I can't make it. My sins are so many. I'm so ashamed to lift my, I'm so ashamed to lift my face to you. For my guilt grabs me and stings my soul until I am weakened and spent. Please, Lord, come quickly and rescue me. Take pleasure in showing me your favor and restore me. Let all who seek my life be humiliated. Let them be confused and ashamed, God. Oh, scatter those who wish me evil. They just want me dead. Scoff at every scoffer and cause them all to be utter failures. Let them be ashamed and horrified by their complete defeat. But let all who patiently seek you, or passionately seek you, hallelujah, but let all who passionately seek you erupt with excitement and joy over what you've done. Let all your lovers rejoice continually in the Savior, saying, how great and glorious is our God. Hallelujah. How great and glorious is is our God. There's a new song coming. 17. Lord, in my place of weakness and need, I ask again, will you come and help me? I know I'm always in your thoughts. You are my true savior and hero. So don't delay to deliver me now, for you are my God. Says and praise the United States of America in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this word we thank you for this prayer lord and we can come together in a prayer of faith and agreement and we can say lord we agree with the word of the lord over the united states of america let it be father we call heaven and earth and things under the earth as witnesses that today we have prayed and called upon the name of the lord jesus christ we have prayed in the name of jesus on the basis of the blood of the lamb of god who speaks for us now better things than that of the blood of abel that cried for vengeance. Lord, remember mercy in your wrath. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Remember mercy. Save now, Lord. Deliver now. Send now prosperity in Jesus' name. We give you all the praise. We give you the honor. We plead the blood of Jesus over the United States of America, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that your perfect will will come to pass. Lord, and I know your will is for the righteous to inherit the earth. That is what you said, and that's what your word says, and that's what will happen. And that's a fact. And I thank you, Lord, the greatest revival. We're on the brink of the greatest revival and move of God that the nations of the world has ever seen before. This generation shall be saved. I see a blood-washed America. 
I see a blood washed Africa in Jesus name. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, that the plan that you have concerning America and Africa. The plans concerning America and Africa. Lord will surely come to pass. Your eternal purposes will prosper. And the nations of the world will come to know Jesus. The nations of the world will come to know Jesus. Amen. Through these two witnesses. Through these two. I see it. Man, but it's a prophetic. What? Jesus. Shita Kaba Kote. And God says that there's two continents that will be as witnesses. Sata Broko Sheka Dagade. That will even stand as witnesses of the gospel of Jesus Christ in this generation. Rela Bokuza Kata Banga. Bless you, Um Louis. Glory, glory. Amen and amen. It's coming. It's coming. It's time. It's time. It's time. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. You guys. Thank you for listening and thank you for agreeing with me in prayer and reading the word concerning the United States of America for a second time. Hallelujah. God just showed me something very interesting about America and Africa. Hey, hey. As if they from these two continents, revival will spring to the whole world. And something's going to happen soon. In these two continents. Hallelujah. The Americas. North America. Well, thank you, Jesus. Do you guys have your communion elements ready? Let's have communion. And Father, we say thank you, Father. And so let it be. And Lord, let it be known that we have made our petitions known with thanksgiving before your throne. And we ask for a godly intervention and a mighty move of the Spirit of God in the United States of America. That justice and mercy will vindicate. Lord, that you will rescue them speedily, Lord. As we repent, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that you remove even the sting of sin, the sting of death. You remove even the consequences now of the sins of the past out from them, Lord. Remove it, Lord. We send it to the cross of Calvary and we thank you, Lord, that you wipe the slates clean in Jesus' name. Also for Africa, Father. Amen and amen. Bless the Lord. Get your communion elements ready. We're going to take communion. We thank you, Father, that this is an absolute word from the Lord. We thank you, Father, for your goodness. Oh, it's good. And I just feel I need to anoint again from the horn. Oh, we're going to anoint from the horn. Oh, hey, that's a dose of lekker Come on, spoil it here again. Terug. This is my show for, this is my anointed Lord. Ho Rabasa, Lord, from the anointing, Lord, in the horn, the hiding place of your power. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands on this screen, Lord, in an agreement with everybody watching right now. Father, we, we anoint the United States of America. Father, with your perfect will in Jesus' name, with your eternal purposes that will prosper, with an anointing and a revival of the love of God that will shake the world and influence Africa like never before in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we release an impartation of the help and the deliverance of the Holy Spirit. Father God, stir up yourself. Lord Jesus, Take up the battle, Lord, and vindicate. Vindicate the United States of America. And they will walk in freedom. Let it be unto them according to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. And anoint love born for what you have for the United States and for Africa, Lord, for what you have. We release that on love born in Jesus' name. And I take it, I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. The healing balm is on you. The oil of joy is on your nation. Oh, the comfort of the Holy Spirit 
is on your nation. We cancel the plans of the devil. Lord, let it be exposed. We bring the fire of God. We call the fire of God's love to burn up the wood, the hay, and the stubble. In Jesus' name, we call it, let the fire, the God who answers by fire, let the fire fall now. In Jesus' name, to burn up the wood, the hay, and the stubble. In the name of Jesus, and to bring purification to the righteous. You'll be brought forth as pure gold. Nanda repakote dere de vijondom. Limbre sutre bagre. Very exciting times. Sheda raba zopa. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now wait patiently. Do you have your communion elements ready? Bless you. Hallelujah. Shoto boje daba zite. Kosunda la masekaba. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Lord, this is your body broken for us. Lord, we take communion on behalf of the United States if we can even do that. Lord, we receive your body and your blood. Lord, intervene and set things right and expose. Thank you, Lord. Let it be as you said in your word. receive the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Amen. Bless you, Jesus. you guys thank you for joining i'll see you tonight at six don't miss tonight hallelujah i feel there's going to be prophetic things happening tonight and uh, maybe some q a but something something interesting is going to happen tonight always always interesting bless you lord thank you for your presence lord amen Aze. all right bless you thank you for joining thank you father for your presence Let this always stand, Lord. Let this always, let this prayer stand before your throne forever. May it please you to receive this prayer today, Father. We have prayed being led by the Spirit, Psalm 30 to 40, over the United States of America. And it shall be done, Lord. It shall surely come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you. That's what, that's what you do. The Lord gives you a mandate for nations and continents and so we do that and you guys that's joined and that stay tuned thank you thank you thank you thank you we've done some big things today in the spirit amen bless you love you guys appreciate you bye bless you jesus